You know, we've been telling you we're giving away $5,000 over the next several weeks, $250 a day for the next 13 weekdays, and it's easy. All you have to do is watch Del Marble Life at 4 o'clock. We'll ask you a question about the previous day's show. You'll be the 16th caller with the correct answer. You've got three minutes to call us at 443-880-9116. All right, are you ready? Here's today's question. Yesterday, we showed you Brian's conversation with the five ladies from the talk. What did Sharon Osborne, or Mrs. O, as she is called, say was something people would not know about her? Call right now with your answer, 443-880-9116, and good luck. I thought at first it was aggravate Brian, but that really wasn't the right answer. <laughs> that's was my it? job. Yeah, that's what, yes. You know, a lot of us have been there strolling through the produce aisle. We come across several vegetables. Not only have we never heard of it, we don't even know how to say it. <laughs> it happens to me all the time. Bok choy, jicama, yuca root. Those are just to name a few. Well, today we're taking the mystery out of some of the vegetables we come across, and here to help is nutrition coach Lynn Matava. Thanks for joining us Thank this afternoon. So let's start with bok choy. Um, it's, a, it's, it's right here, right? Yes. Okay, it. tell us a little bit about that. Well, the bok choy is in the cabbage family. It's a Chinese cabbage. You might have also seen Napa cabbage. Uh -huh. It could be used in a stir fry. It could be used uh, just to kind of add some crunch and a little nutrition to some Asian style food. And, and we're actually going to make something today with we it. We are, and it's, we're going to do more of a French treatment to it, just okay. to do something a little different. So what are we making? We're making a provincial bok choy, okay. and we're just going to chop up some of the uh, bok choy here. First, I'll get you to smash up a little smash piece of garlic. The, okay. Do the garlic smash, and, and there we go. We have to turn so on So what are we going to put here. in here? We're going to have the bok choy, we're going to have uh, the garlic, obviously, and what else are we going to have? Uh, and we're going to have some zest. Right. Um, some lemon and orange, or this is technically a clementine, but, okay. um, and so I'm going to have you do that, Jimmy. And, and oh. what we do when we do the zest, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in this pan, about a tablespoon. Okay. And when you zest it, all you're going to do is pick this up, right. and you're just going to use... Are you want to do it now? Sure, right oh, in the I pan. Oh, I thought you always did that last. No, nah, well you can. That adds a little flavor at the end, and just turn the lemon as you're going, because we don't want the white part in there. That's called the pith. Right. And that's really bitter. We just want the essential oils of the, the lemon rind itself. It's bright. It helps lift the dish and gives it a lot of really good flavor. How much of my knuckles should I get in <laughs> Hopefully very little. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I have my garlic here. Do I just throw it in there? Sure. Yeah. Okay. How much zest do you want? Am I still um, zesting? You, you can you can move on to the orange I can now move if you on. like. And I'm not sure that we ever got this Oh, on. yeah. It turned off there. there we go. Okay. All right. I'll continue zesting. She's the technical operator anyway. I don't know how to turn that thing on. <laughs> I can zest like nobody's business, though. All right. Okay, so we talked about some other unique veggies, the jicama. Jicama. Did absolutely. I say it right? Yes, you did. I'll, I'll come grab jicama. that over here. Okay. Take a look at this thing. I asked you what I thought it was a rock. It, it looks like a rock. Jicama is actually in the bean family, and it uh -huh. comes from Mexico. And this is the root of the plant, and it's a very heavy, kind of not oh, very yeah. pretty thing. Okay. Um, but you find it in the produce section, like you said, and you can slice it up. It makes a very crunchy snack. You can use it in a dip or instead of like your basic old carrots okay. and uh, celery. Yeah, try a piece. Really? Just oh, like yeah. this? I mean, you don't yeah. cook it or anything? You don't have to. Um, you could also chop it up fine and oh. put it in salsa, make a kind of a crunchy salsa. I like that. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to describe the taste, but I really can't, but it's very it's, it's good. It's like a that cross between an apple and a potato. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Like a she got it for me. like a hickam yeah, There like you go. All <laughs> right. So we, we talk, we're going to talk a little bit about beets, and we've all heard Thank of beets, you. but usually I get them in the jar, yeah, pickled. Here. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I, I don't know about you, I'm not a big fan of pickled beets. I yeah. never have been. I'm not a big fan of pickled anything. Um, but beets, they're pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. You could eat them raw. You do want to peel them. and You might want to use a glove. They will turn everything red. The countertop, your fingernails. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you could roast them in an oven, 375, for maybe 45 minutes so with a little bit of olive oil on them. My favorite part about the beet is actually the greens. You could put that in a salad, can't you? You could put it Ooh. in a salad, uh, a little bit of the orange juice and some sesame oil. It would be delicious. All right, we need to pay attention to what we're doing here. Do right. I need to do something with my bok choy? Please. Uh, you're going to chop kind of this part off from the top. Okay. Now, I did wash these vegetables. They are, um, you know, they come from the ground, so there's dirt in a lot of these, especially right. bok choy and beets. They were, they were underground. So they always a good up. idea. Absolutely. I'll take those. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, and then just cut this up? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, we'll what about that bottom part there? My rabbit would love it, but are there any <laughs> other yeah. uses for it? <laughs> we're not going to use it today, but you could absolutely. You could chop it up into small pieces and just throw it into a stir fry or saute oh, it. Okay. Um, and, you know, if you could find a smaller bok choy, I would use the whole piece of it. Mm -hmm. I did not do that today because I was unable to find some baby bok choy. Okay, how's that? That's great. Well, I could All put right, peanut butter do in next? it and be a happy um, We're going to add, if you want to throw maybe a pinch of the um, pepper salt, 
right here? That's the pepper, just a pinch of that, and there's a little bit of sea salt over there. Lisa, Lisa there. knows that when it comes to pepper, I got great big pinches. <laughs> he does, he yeah. does. And this is thyme, it's fresh thyme, and I've peeled it off the stem already, but mm -hmm. you can dump it right on in. All of it, all, right. all, all going thing. in, yeah. whole thing. Okay. What we're doing in the oil here is it's just releasing some of the flavor a little bit before we throw the bok choy. Okay, oh, okay. so can we go ahead you and do go that? Ahead. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just throw it all in there? Throw it all in there. Okay, and how long do we cook that? Um, it, it would probably be about three or four minutes. We're gonna let it reduce some. Jimmy's gonna pour a good splash of wine over it there. Mm -hmm. It's just a white wine, it's not a sweet wine. Okay. A Chardonnay or a Sauvignon Blanc, something like that. And while he's doing that, tell me about That's mustard good. greens. Mustard greens are just another one of those great things you'll find in the produce aisle. Uh, they, uh, especially this time of the year, if you can get them locally grown and they've come from, a, they haven't gone to seed yet, they're nice and tender still. You could rub them with olive oil and put some vinegar or lemon juice on them and have them mm -hmm. in a salad. You could cook them or steam them. It's another great way to get your greens in. Right, right. Now you live by example. You actually yes. lost a lot of weight eating this. I did. I, I lost 90 pounds several <gasps> years ago. Oh my goodness. That's and we have incredible. a before after picture. Take a look at wow, that. Wow, what a yeah. difference. All Isn't right. That Congratulations on Thank that. That you. is absolutely true. Now, just in case you'd like uh, any of these recipes, you can send a self addressed envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard in Salisbury 21801. Ask about the provincial bok choy. You can also go to delmarvelife.com, 443-880-9116 if you'd like to call instead. And through the magic of television. Look at yeah. that. That's beautiful. That and we're going to go ahead and give it a taste. And this is provincial bok provincial choy. Provincial bok choy. With tomatoes and such. What do you think? Hmm? That's pretty good. Oh, that would be a great summer salad. Yeah, and oh, you oh, can oh. have it for a light dinner or as mm -hmm. a really hearty side. All right, That's Lynn, nice. thank you like so much. We learned so much. And still to come on Delmarva Life, the Dew Tour is coming to Ocean City again next month. Up next, we're going to tell you how you can get in on some of the action and win a cool prize while you're at it. But first, we'd like to congratulate Jim Jackson of Dagsboro. Jim was our winner yesterday, took home $250. Minutes ago, we posed this question. Yesterday, we showed you Brian's conversation with the five ladies from the talk. What did Sharon Osborne, or Mrs. O, as she likes to be called, say was something people would not know about her? The answer is she collects antique roses. Congratulations to today's $250 winner. And don't miss out on your shot to win tomorrow. Now Thanks. here's a look at what's coming up on First at 5 on Fox 21 and later on WBOC News at 6.